Hey guys, it is Robin the Lady Biker. How is everyone doing today? Okay, well, Allie and I took off on a last minute unexpected camping trip here. This is like the second weekend of November and the weather's turned out perfect. But anyway, we want to tell you all about the campground that we're at. Hang on. All right, hey guys, so like I said, Allie and I, last minute, we had planned this weekend and then we have one more coming up in a couple of weekends, which is gonna be huge. But we decided to run back up here to Santa Margarita because the roads out here are gorgeous, the scenery out here is gorgeous. But if you saw one of my previous videos before we made our big epic summer road trip, you know that quite often whenever we camp, we camp at KOAs and most of them are really really well done however there's a handful that we come back to and this is one of them santa margarita california it's the koa holiday and this is hands down our favorite one that we've ever been at and so we thought we'd take you around because this campground is quite unique not only for the fact that it is probably one of the best managed ones that we've been at before, but also because it's got the most unique topography because you seriously can hike just right here in the campground itself. So I thought we'd take you around, show you a little bit about this campground and what makes it so unique and special. You ready to go? Come on. All right, I am recording, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to the first It was, it was a good knock. It was. <laughs> All right, hey guys. Well, good morning. Last time we saw you, we were up at the front of the campground. And last night when we did, it was getting really close to sunset. So we're going to show you that footage here in just a minute. But All right, so got to show you some more stuff. Clearly, it's morning. It is cold. What, it was like 40... 46 or something this morning we're in layers <laughs> we got coffee oh he's got coffee i got hot chocolate anyway i want to show you this the playground up here so this is why we say it's such a great uh place for families because you see that right there it's deflated right now because of the temperatures but during the warmer months it's inflated and it's like a massive bouncy pillow thing <laughs> and i believe they even have uh movies and different things for the kids during the summer. I know they've got a advertisement over here. Let me see if I can show y'all. Ah, uh, there it is. So they even do like kids movies during the summer on the weekends and everybody comes and hangs out on the big jumpy pillow thing and watches movies. And so, like I said, if you've got kids, this is a great location to bring them. So the next place we're heading up to is a little ways up the road. And we're going to introduce you to Kevin. Okay, guys, so we're here. Check him out. I'm not sure he's going to come over and be social or not, but that's Kevin. And Kevin is a resident here. <laughs> so there again, for anyone who loves animals, especially kids, if you, they even have at the camp store, they even have little packs of feed that you can, um, that you can purchase to get over. Probably if we had the feed, Kevin would be very, very social. Anyway, say hello, Kevin. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit as we walk around the park. Right now we're on the side that's more RVs, but kind of show you a little bit, give you some concept of how everything is terraced. It is gorgeous here. And then we're going to make our hike up to our favorite campsite and show you the sunset. <music> up to kind of the top of the campground. Allie and I tend to like to walk around this one 
especially on a cold morning to kind of get the blood flowing. But check that out. Let me see if I can get a good, get the camera to adjust to the color. Isn't that beautiful out there? Anyway, wanted to go over. There are three general types of campgrounds for KOAs. The first is a journey. Now in two, well, not even two weeks, we are headed to Arizona and we're gonna be base camping out of a journey. That's the first type. And journeys are usually really close to major interstates or state highways. They're meant for, they're, they're, they're kind of streamlined. They have a great camp store and all that. They have all the amenities that anyone on a bike, in a car, with an RV, anything that they would need. But they're very, very basic. Um, and they're meant primarily for just a couple of nights. They're meant to be a base camp. They're not meant to really stay. Then you have a holiday, which is what this one is. And holidays have a little bit more, uh, there are a few more amenities. They have a few more services, especially for families, but they're also still meant to be a very comfortable base camp. And they're usually situated near natural um, uh, attractions like the ones where we stayed when we were at Glacier during our epic summer, summer road trip and the one we stayed at, I think it was West Yellowstone. Both of those were holidays, so they're really close to major attractions. Um, there is one that was closer to the Grand Canyon, but many of the holiday ones like this will shut down during the winter season because the traffic or they're up in the mountains, so it's a little bit harder for most people to get to. But then you got your third, which is a resort. Now we have not stated a resort yet, but that one often will have uh, hotels, they'll have food service. They are truly a glamping type experience. So I know there's one like that in Southern Cal. And if we have some, we have an opportunity in like January, or February, we may ride south out into the desert and stay at one of those. But anyway, we love camping at KOAs, but gosh, I mean, guys, seriously, look, that is the view here. It is just so incredibly beautiful. Santa Margarita, it, it's a gorgeous area. And especially for those of you that ride, there are a ton of great roads, like within 20 minutes of here. <laughs> so anyway, let's get, we're going to show you some footage that we took last night as we made our hike up and then watched the sunset from our favorite camp spot. All right, he's hiding. <laughs> We're both out of breath. This is some steep inclines. Whew. All right, hold up guys, let me show y'all. We're headed up there. That way, and then up. <laughs> but it should make for a spectacular sunset. Whew. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, what that was that was a beautiful sunset, was it not? Uh, what camp spot are we at? Ninety one. Ninety one. Ninety one. It is absolutely gorgeous up here. Um, all right, I'm gonna put you on the spot. What's your favorite thing of this particular camp's camping ground? Um, I, I like the terrain. There's lots of yeah. elevations, lots of dips and curves, and and this is my favorite spot to camp. Even though we've never camped here before, yeah. we've hiked up to this one. But just um, it's comfortable. It's spread out. You're not camping on top of each other either. No, we're not. That that's the one thing you're not stacked here you're not stacked like cordwood, you know, like camp after camp after camp. I don't think it's rare that there's any campsite where there's two like right together. Even when we're camping, which is down in a very kind of a cluster which is motorcycle friendly, which if you're not an experienced rider on dirt, that's where you want to camp. Um but even that with the elevations where mm -hmm. 
there's a there's a degree of separation. So even though it's he calls it glamping because there's flushing toilets. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it's still it it gives you kind of that feeling of being kind of remote camping, but with all the benefits of a bathhouse and a flushing toilet and all that. And I mean, the views are pretty spectacular. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Everything from the, well, Kevin's pretty cool, to the, the kids area. This one's really a very, very cool KOA. Anyway, if you're here, you got to come and check it out. Anyway, guys, so we're going to enjoy the rest of the sunset, have dinner, and then sadly we have to head home in the morning. So, guys, when you can, get out and ride. Have fun. Be safe. And we're going to catch you on the next video. Bye.